But when it comes to your health, do you know if you are getting enough vitamin D? It's, that's something we really talk about a lot, but our long winters and gray days contribute to a vi vital vitamin deficiency that really needs to be addressed. Paula Tubman joins us from the Rochester Municipal Park, where the reason for the deficiency is, well, pretty obvious, Paula. Yeah, look at the day. I'm absolutely. Okay, so this says unsafe ice. Yay, no ice there, but at least we don't have snow up to our waist. But when you take a look across the pond, you can see this is a this is a pretty typical looking Michigan day, which is why we are deficient in a major vitamin. Ask anyone what vitamin C does and they'll tell you. You got a cold, you take vitamin C. Vitamin B? It gives you energy in your red blood cells. Vitamin D? Vitamin D from the sun, bone health. Yep, known as the sunshine vitamin, many of us know what it is, but did you also know that as Michiganders, we don't get enough of it? I would agree with that. That's why I take the supplement to, to supplement my sunshine or lack of. And it's obvious why. Just look around. Cloudy, gray skies. In the winter, long winters, short days. A potpourri of reasons the website Drug Genius found Michiganders are overwhelmingly deficient in vitamin D. And local doctors agree. It's important for so many things like maintaining good bone health, for our muscles, for our nerves, our immune system, and even our mood. So here's what happens when you are deficient in vitamin D. Fatigue is one uh, symptom. Uh, depressed mood can be another symptom. Brittle bones, uh, muscle aches. Um, and if you're experiencing all of those symptoms, you definitely want to talk with your doctor about getting that vitamin D level checked. Here's what you do to fix the deficiency. So foods like fatty fish, beef, and milk are great natural ways to keep up levels of vitamin D. But for vegetarians and vegans, it's a little more difficult. And also, the color of your skin is a factor. That's when you consider supplements. Generally, it's safe to say that, um, especially in the wintertime, most adults can handle about 600 units of vitamin D daily. Um, it's a little bit more for the elderly or people with darker skin, they may want to range about 800 units a day. Another thing that's still being studied, and we know that vitamin D has been linked to um, immune deficiency, and um, because of obviously COVID has been rampant over the last few years, and um, so we're studying the effects of um, vitamin D deficient patients and how uh, they did when they um, contracted COVID. Did they do worse um, than someone else who had a normal vitamin D level. Dr. Raina Deza from Henry Ford Health says, but be careful when self-supplementing. Just to contrast, vitamin C, you can take and take and take, and our body just pees out the excess. It's not a big deal, um, as long as you have normal functioning kidneys. But A, D, E, and K, those vitamins are fat soluble. So we can, we can run into the risk of uh, patients becoming toxic from high levels. Yes, yeah, and you really have to be careful about that when you're self-supplicating, you're using those supplements, this could become toxic. So if you find out you have a vitamin D deficiency, take it seriously. If you think you might ask your doctor so you can at least get your blood tested. I will say this, I did talk to my buddy Paul Gross and he says we're gonna have some sunshine uh, this weekend, Karen, so we can come out here and we can suck in some of those vitamin D natural rays to work on our D deficiencies. I agree, and plus the temperatures are gonna be warmer, so it's definitely a good reason to get outside and get some of that sun. <laughs> it sure looks gray out there though. It really does, Paula. Yeah, it is gray. It really is yeah, gray. It does, it yeah. Is. All yeah. right, thanks Paula. That's all right, it's Michigan. It is Michigan, <laughs> that's right, it changes.